So you might be familiar with the movie Inception, in which Leonardo DiCaprio has the ability to twist and alter his dreamscape through the use of his subconscious. While this might seem like another one of Hollywood's elaborate plots, it actually is possible, and there's scientific evidence behind it. Today, I will be showing you guys how to lucid dream and how you can actually use lucid dreams to help you with some everyday decisions. So, think back to the last time you had a dream. Can you pinpoint at what moment you knew it was pure fantasy? For most, this doesn't occur until you wake up. However, lucid dreamers are actually able to obtain full consciousness during the dream, which allows them to change the outcome of it. A 2010 study by Scientific America showed that one in five Americans experiences a lucid dream per month, so it is happening. What's truly fascinating about lucid dreamers is that they can actually create a plan before falling asleep and actually execute it in the dream, which is where the whole problem-solving aspect will later come into play. So to fully understand lucid dreaming, we first need to look at the science behind dreams. There are actually two stages of sleep, REM and non-REM sleep. During REM sleep, you experience an increase in brain activity and your eyes rapidly dart back and forth, which is why it's coined rapid eye movement sleep. This allows 80% of Americans to experience immersive and vivid dreams. So now that we know a little bit more about lucid dreaming, let's talk about how we can actually implement lucid dreams. So lucid dreaming has actually been shown to be an effective therapy for reoccurring nightmares. This can help anyone from children, soldiers suffering from PTSD, and victims of sexual abuse. So how this would work is, if they were in a dream and it begins to take a dark turn, they can actually reason to escape the conflict and the nightmare is over. So if a child had a nightmare where he saw a scary monster, he could fly away and the nightmare is over. A more lighthearted use for lucid dreaming is when it comes to decision making. I don't know about you guys, but I've had a really hard time picking a major here at Penn State. Lucid dreaming can be used to explore possible career paths and even relationship problems. So what you would do is, before falling asleep, you would think about a couple decisions you'd like to explore. And then in the dream, you'd be able to see the outcomes of these. Um, Deidre Barrett, a psychologist at Harvard, actually recently conducted a study which supported these findings. She took 78 college-age students and taught them to lucid dream. They were told to come up with an academic problem and a personal problem. So an academic problem could be a difficult math equation, and a personal problem could be a fight with a friend. After a week, 50% reported that they saw part of the problem in their dream. And of that 50%, 70% reported finding a solution to the problem in their dream, which is quite remarkable in my opinion. So another way we can use lucid dreaming is when it comes to writer's block. So if you're ever stuck writing a 10-page paper, try to dream about it. Uh, something that I found particularly interesting was that George Lucas, the mastermind behind the widely successful Star Wars franchise, actually credits a lot of the elaborate plot to his dreams. Not to mention, chemist Frederick August struggled with the structure of benzene for years until one night he had a dream of a snake forming a circle and biting its own tail, which is where he got inspired to um, look at the ring-like structure which is actually correct in what we use today. So now that you guys know some of the benefits of lucid dreaming, let's talk about how you guys can actually lucid dream. So if you've ever had a dream before, you have the possibility of lucid dream. Now the most important step is to really master dream recall. So what you can do is keep a dream journal by your bed, and anytime you remember anything about a dream, to quickly jot it down. Now I would wait until Christmas break because this definitely will um, upset your sleep patterns. And so after a while, you're going to have a lot to work with. And what you want to do is start looking for some reoccurring themes. This could be maybe a loved one you typically don't see or flying. Anything that's odd, and this will cause you to um, question your state of consciousness. Now the next step is to create a mantra. Before you go to sleep, you want to tell yourself that you want to lucid dream and you want to remember your dream. This will really focus your mind and help you to hit that lucid stage. Now, don't forget to get um, eight hours of sleep because if you aren't getting enough sleep, you won't hit all of your REM cycles. So with enough practice, anyone can lucid dream. Lucid dreaming has been used to solve countless problems, anything from reoccurring nightmares to writer's block. So really, what's stopping you from lucid dreaming? Thank you.